Hey there, how's it going? Are you good? Brilliant. Thanks for joining me. I knew you would. Today, what I have for you is this. This is another box for Pancake. And she's gonna really enjoy this because she's enjoyed these two. So this one she jumps into, that one she hides in. She hides in both of them really, but you know, she jumps into this one. So yeah, back to this box then. And here we have a pair of scissors. And there she goes. And is she gonna go inside? she's made a new home for herself. Okay, so onto the box that's come out of the box. And here we have the box that's come out of the box. So these are the SWA401s and there's Pancake in the background trying to get her in. And in she comes. So yeah, these are the speakers I'm gonna be testing out right now. And off she goes again. Is she gonna make it without getting squashed? Yes, she is. She's quite agile in that sense. Most cats are. Oh, she's coming back. Make up your mind. Okay, so let's take these out of here then. Sold as set. Interesting. Okay, so here we are on my desk and let's open this box and see what comes inside it. This right here is a coaster, by the way. Just move that to one side because it's a little distracting. Slice, slice, slice. And here we go. Looks like we've got one of these, don't really need that. Put that to one side. Hopefully there's some sort of an adapter, otherwise I'm gonna have to find one. Don't need this. Okay, so here we have the speakers, and as you can see, UK plug, brilliant. It's a little dark in there, so I'm gonna take everything out of this and show you on the desk. Okay, so the contents of the box will go right here. So this is the first thing I took out, and this right here is a control panel for the speakers. Right here we have a remote control which has a pretty nice texture on it. Here we have some batteries for the remote control. They can go there. And here we have an audio lead. And that is flat wire by the way. 3.5 millimeter to. Here we have a couple of pieces of plastic. I'm not too sure what they do, but we'll put those there. And this right here is the power adapter. A couple more pieces of plastic. And there we go, that's one of the speakers. This right here is the mounting bracket you would put it to the wall with. And here we have the other speaker. So when I first saw these speakers, I thought they'd be self-amplified, but they're not, which is a good thing. This thing right here, which you would put into the wall, is actually the amplifier. Wait a minute! Okay, so not only will I be showing you how the speaker sounds with this amplifier, but I'll also be showing you how to wire it up with this. Also, I'll test these speakers out with that amplifier right there in the background. So that amplifier right there in the background should be more or less perfect for these speakers right here, which are supposed to be 20 watts. Oh yeah, by the way, these plastic pieces, they go right here after you remove these if you don't want to use these. All right, so for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these on the floor because we don't need these speakers just yet. And everything else can be moved out of the way. So we've got a screwdriver there because I'm going to need that in a second. Unfortunately, this whole packaging doesn't come with any wiring. So me being the sort of person I am, I have like saved a bunch of wiring from like years ago. This is literally a decade or so old. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to wire this up. And we're going to need to do this because this is part of the video, you see. Right here, as you can see, we've got inputs and we've got outputs so on here will go the input from this power supply so the power supply will go into here like this and then these right here obviously go to the positive and negatives of the speakers also over here we have some more inputs if you need them but we don't need those because we're going to be using this so into one of these will go this and that should be about it really so right now i'm going to cut this wire into pieces hopefully reasonably sized pieces and then stick them into this. I usually don't zip tie my wires, but for some reason I decided to zip tie this and I don't know why I just pulled that because it's made it tighter. Normally what I would do is I'd stick like, I'd stick something in there and sort of just loosen it and then pull it off. Okay, so now we've got to cut this into some um, sizes that are not gonna to be too small. Should I zoom out a little bit? Zoomed out just a little bit. Okay, so the way this wire is wrapped right now, it's actually made for speakers. We've got two pairs of wires right there. Okay, so you probably can't tell, but this is actually propped up on some blue tack. Okay, so as you can see, the first lot of wiring is going to go into here like this, into, well, not into there, but over here like this. Shall we maybe get a better angle on this? 
Okay, so there we go. That's about a little bit. All right, there we go. Now you can see the blue tack. So in these go, Oreika so. And then just tighten these down. Hopefully you can see them being tightened down. All right, so these are in. Now for the speaker wires, which will be these four. So yeah, as you can see, it says 20 watts, four ohm. So these speakers must be four ohm, which um, is good to know because it doesn't say on the back of the speakers. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in there and then screw it down, obviously. And they go like that, and then this one, and then tighten these ones down too. Okay, so that should be about it for that. Everything seems secure. All right, so now this is done, we can wire up the speakers. And these speakers, by the way, remind me of the um, surround sound speakers televisions used to come with back in the day. All right, that goes there like that. And on the back of the speaker, it actually says professional monitor system, four inch loudspeaker black color. Anyway, this is fairly simple, just like my SMD. Push this down, put the wire in and let go. And the same for this side. And the back of this speaker axis says the same as the other one. And in this goes like so. And somebody's ringing me. Hello. And they hung up. That number's getting the block. There we go, sorted. Now we can actually get to playing some music and listening to what these sound like. Okay, so everything is now connected. So what I'll do is I'll turn this on and hopefully nothing blows up. So, on. Ah, blue LEDs, okay. I can hear a hiss. And I can hear that hiss about five feet back too. So uh, what I'll do now is I'll plug my phone into this and we'll see how they play music. Okay, so here we have my phone and this is gonna go into there like that. And this is gonna go into there. So you might be able to see these search results that have showed up. And I'm gonna play this. I played it on one of the previous videos in which I tested the amplifier, the amplifier that's actually in the corner. So check it out if you haven't seen it already. And if you have seen it, you'll know what song it is. Also, whilst I'm at it, I might as well plug my phone into this. I'm guessing this is probably just gonna charge it. And yes, you can charge it whilst you listen to music from it. And it doesn't have to be your phone. It could be an iPad, it could be whatever. It will charge it, but I don't need that. So I'm gonna take it off. All right, so uh, I'm gonna play this song now and uh, you can listen to how these speakers sound. Okay, and I'm gonna press play now. All right, so it seems as though the volume is quite low. Okay, so I'm quite surprised at the sound of these. Um, they're nice and clear. The bass seems to be a little more than I thought it would be. The only thing is the hiss. That will be the amplifier that's doing that. Um, so I might just try it with that amp there in the corner. Otherwise, I'm, I'm, I, I would personally use these. I'd probably even just put them on the wall somewhere. Um, maybe up there? Up there, sort of facing towards me. Um, you know what, I think I might even do that. Maybe not in this video, because I've been after some speakers and I was actually thinking of making some speakers for that. We'll test these out now using that amplifier and I'm pretty sure they won't hiss. Also, by the way, this has a few other modes on it. You've got hall, music and speech. So I'm guessing hall adds a bit of reverb. Not bad, you know, to be honest, not bad. 
So what I'll do now is I'll put these on top of my monitor speakers and that will give us a bit more sort of stereo and we'll probably get a better idea of what the bass is like on them. All right, so here we go then. These speakers are now on there. Uh, we'll play some music and uh, see what they sound like from this angle. So on we go again and I wonder what the hiss will be like. So yeah, at ear level, the hiss is a little more obvious, but um, let's play some music. And by the way, this is at maximum volume. My phone is at around three quarters. So yeah, I'll be honest, these are a little better than I was expecting. The hiss is not something I was expecting. So yeah, now what I'll do is I'll wire it up to this amplifier right here. Okay, so this right here is the back of the amplifier and these wires just go in like this. And that's one side. I'm not too sure if that's left or right, but it's gonna work. Okay, so you're gonna have to ignore these wires that are thrown around here and there. The speakers are now wired up to this amplifier and there is no hiss. Even at maximum volume, the hiss is about a quarter of what it was. Alright, so I'm going to be playing the same track again, and this is the name of the track. So as you saw, the volume on the amplifier was quite loud, but that is because the volume on the computer is 36. And I like to leave the volume quite low on this because I use headphones. So yeah, anyway, these speakers are better than I thought they would be, like I said before. But um, what I'm gonna do with these is probably just sort of maybe mount them up there somewhere. I'm not too sure whereabouts I can put them. Um, I'll need to get some sort of uh, wall, hole mounting, mount, hole, wall, Something to put them into the wall with. So just to summarise, apart from this amplifier which lets off a bit of a hiss, the bass on the speakers are good considering that they're only 4 inch drivers down here. The treble is decent, it's nice and clear. I could probably use these to listen to music on when I don't want to turn on my monitors or put on headphones. I would use this, but only if I'm listening to music on them. But other than that, the speakers are better than I thought they would be. Oh yeah, by the way, I completely forgot to test the uh, remote control, so... Uh, as you can see, it works perfectly fine. So yeah, you can mute, you can turn up the volume, you can skip tracks, you can pause, you can change the input, and you can also choose which listening mode you want. Turn that off. Um, I may even open these up in a future video, so uh, stay tuned. And why not subscribe to my gaming channel? I'll see you guys next time, and check out these speakers. There'll be a link in the description. Um, I may even link the amplifier right there, because I like it a lot. Check it out, and I'll see you next time.